Dr. Hooker, you explained for us that, that one of the most important gifts Jesus gave the disciples in his time with them was helping them to live into one narrative, but when appropriate, have a change of narrative. Mm -hmm. So the example you gave was at the end of his ministry in the Gospel of John, mm -hmm. he helps them understand it is now time to move from the narrative of being disciples to the narrative of being friends, mm -hmm. which now invokes an entire different set of opportunities mm -hmm. and responsibilities. If I'm a youth minister in my church mm -hmm. and I'm trying to think, what is the narrative shift or one of the narrative shifts that I want to help the young people experience? Can you give me an example or, or a model of what that might look like? Yeah, so one of, the, one of the fascinating practices that I think is really important for churches to participate in and include the youth in it is what we call narrative alignment, where the way that we show up in the world incorporates the way that we show up in the church itself. And I wonder if the narrative of church itself shifted for youth from home, because we often talk about a church home, to talking about headquarters. Mm, mm, what mm, happens, mm. what we do at home is we rest and we get comfortable and we feel good about it and we allow and we love on each other. But if this is headquarters in the way of Christ, then we know that we're not a chapel, that we're not only associated with ourselves, but we're, there, we're associated going out. And we come here for our resources, we come here for our respite, but it's a temporary respite because our work is to the scattered and not only to the gathered. And then we would have to understand differently what is it that the gathered need? How do we, how, how is it different for the gathered than it is for the scattered? And what might we do and how will we go to learn about the needs and the lives of the scattered, right? And so shifting even the narrative of what church should represent will shift then how youth understand their relationship to what's happening in that place. And it will demand that they be given the skills and an analytical framework of critical consciousness that will allow them to go out and understand how might we be church to the scattered. 